There we go! Extended our vacation to the end of summer. I've always wanted to do the luau, but we were never here for it. We can at least experience a romance. So, still chasing after this emotionally unavailable hung? Of course! Mia, if I'm going to get married to him, I need to at least experience a romance. A real one. I can see why Celeste left this life. But the security. I need my one summer fling, alright? Whatever. If you feel the need, I just think you're putting a band-aid on this and that you need to find a way out. I just... I don't know. I felt this was the best decision. You need to confront your parents though, not sneak behind their backs. You don't understand though. It's really a tough situation. Whatever. I know Emil seems to be a good pick, but he's not available and you know that. Emil, you say? Whatever. My, My boat. Hey, boys, be careful. You just covered these beautiful women with sand. Great. Another beach hunk jerk. I'm out of here. Ugh, so lame, Mia. I need to change my clothes anyways. They are completely wrecked. She has a point. I should probably change. Oh, darling. It's just a little sand. Just brush it off. My, that accent. However, I must apologize. Come, we can use my staff discount for some drinks, my treat. Um, yeah, sure. Perfect. Come with me. You want to be at the biggest resort party together? Of course, I want to show you off. This is what you wanted, right? It's what I've always wanted, but... B -b -b but I'm in a confusing time. But what's so confusing? I'm trying to show you that I'm changing from my old ways. I know, and I really appreciate you showing me that you're ready for a serious commitment with me, but goals change after some time. Feelings change. Feelings change? Are you asking me to just be friends or something? No, it's not that. I still like you, however, I feel like I've developed feelings for someone who saved my life. Saved your life? They saved me. A few months after my rescue, they noticed I wasn't holding up too well. Christina said where I was being held captive was aiding in my injuries, and when I was rescued, my injuries went untreated. Oh, oh no, Cora! Cora, Cora, wake up! Oh no. 911, what is your emergency? Hello? Yes, I need an ambulance dispatched. The emergency? I, I found my roommate unconscious. Ugh. My head. I would have to bet you seem to have a nasty fall. What? 
I came home and found her on the ground, basically unconscious. I got you here. Thank you. What did the doctor say? To be honest, he's not sure why or how you suffered so much internal damage, but you do have a little concussion from your fall down the stairs. Do you think... Nate caused it. I called Christina and she said the same thing. Anyways, the doctor issued you some medications to help with your injuries. You'll be able to leave in the morning under my supervision. That's great to hear. I'm glad. I'm going to let the doctor know that you're awake. He'll evaluate your condition. Thanks. It must have been pretty bad, considering I don't remember falling, but I'm definitely feeling it. Since that day, he has always been by my side, but of his feelings of attraction or feelings of gratefulness, Taylor, I'm sincerely confused. I've never had such feelings for a woman before. Alright then. Well, we can still go as friends. Friends? Of course. I don't want to push you if you're unsure about a relationship. I would really appreciate that. I'm glad. Whatever you decide, I will support you, Cora. Thanks, friend. Come on, let's go enjoy some lunch. There's a really great restaurant not far from here. I would love that. We figure that maybe this will help with disguising our actual marriage status. Oh, Emil, it's beautiful. Yeah, I figured it would. Christina put a chant in in case your core surges again and... Did, did you just call me a meal? Huh? No, Emily, you must be hearing things. Thought we were close. What's wrong, Mr. Deschamps? Nothing, I just thought my wife had a breakthrough. However, he did find my gorgeous wedding ring. Oh, so you have a ring on your finger now? <laughs> yep. Interesting. I don't necessarily still believe you two are married. What do you mean? I mean... This is the first time I'm seeing you out. What is that supposed to mean? Let alone, I haven't seen you guys kiss once. For a honeymooning couple, you aren't an ounce close. You want to see a kiss? I'll give you a kiss. Uh, Heike, what are you doing? He wants a kiss? He's getting one. There, the kiss. In front of you. Corruption! What was that? That man was aggravating me. That was disgusting, and now your entire body is flowing with adrenaline. I hate being contradicted. Sheesh. I kind of want to save that when I figured out how to finish you off. Oh well, blame that jerk. Heike, what was that? I was proving a point! Okay, a very good one, but why? Such a feisty wife you have there, Mr. Deschamps. I'll show you feisty with your face! Sheesh, fine. I'll leave you alone for now. Thank you. I want to enjoy a meal with my husband. We don't need to be harassed. Any more cases of harassment? I'll have to report it to the board. Got it? Yes, Mrs. Deschamps. I apologize for the distress I have created. Good. Now, I hate to cause a scene. Pretty late for that, don't you think? Yes, ma'am. Enjoy your lunch. I'll pay for it for the disturbance. That's what I like to hear. Whoa, Heike, what was that? He challenged me. That wasn't the first time we've kissed. What was that? I smell the chlorine. Reminds me of a swimming pool. Swim team captain, right? Yeah. Yeah! I felt familiar. 
I remember kissing one. Must have been you. I, I can't believe it. What? You're getting closer and closer by the day. This is amazing. The initials on the tree. They're fading. Even though you have materialized, you're still magic. Christina's ring is causing this. Perfect. That buys me time. How does thought sound? It sounds great in theory, but how would it even work? Oh, I totally forgot. What's that? It's a love potion. A potion? Really? <laughs> what is this, some fantasy land? I'm actually being serious. How do you think Heike got her memory? What? That was caused by magic? Caused by me, and I no longer have my magic. However, I stole this potion from some other mages. Alright then. Tell me what I have to do. Simple. Get Jamil to go on a date. Do you even understand how hard that will be? Not if we trick him. Trust me, you want that fling. I can do everything in my power to do so. You will? If that's all you want, I have that in my power. Now, you must do the following for me. What is it? There's an herb shop. Down the boardwalk, I want you to collect the ingredients on the list. I can create a simple potion long enough to tamper with your appearance. But if you have no powers... Potions and magic are very different. I don't need magic to make a potion. I just need the correct ingredients and the DNA of the person you are impersonating, and needless to say, I have a lot of our dear hikes. She really did a number on herself, but she'll be dead in a matter of days, so I'm not concerned about completely healing it. However, perhaps her blood will be useful one day. I'll grab a vial before starting corruption's materialization. Thanks for making this so easy for me, Heike. Nate! Yes, Viola? What are you doing with this guess? I made a horrific mess of her swimsuit. I treated her to drinks for my break. I'm off the clock, Viola. You should know the basic protocol. You shouldn't be romanticizing. Romanticizing? This is basic socialization. Don't worry, ma'am. Don't worry. This man wasn't flirting with me. He just felt bad that a volleyball game went wrong. Uh-huh. Anyways, I need to find Mia. I've been gone for so long now. Thanks, Nate, for everything. Nate, you're doing good. I must say I'm impressed. Despite the recent feedback I've received. Feedback? You went into a guest hotel room without their presence. There are protocols for a reason, let alone the fact that the victim is friends with the inhabitants. Oh, that. That's right. That was a sincere accident. An accident? There wasn't even a delivery. The room didn't even send a request. Hmm. Wrong room? Mm-hmm. I hope you're making changes. Yes, I am. All right, then. Anyway, you can retreat to your staff boarding. I'm giving you the rest of the day off. Thank you, Viola. Have a good day. You too. Vora, did you hear that? I did. He has possession of a manipulation potion. And he's intending it for a meal. 
most likely to send corruption right into his arms. Exactly. However, Christina's enchantment is rather intelligent. What do you mean? Her enchantment absorbs magic releasing into Heike's natural aura. Her core isn't the only thing that generates magic. Corruption is materialized magic. Exactly. Allowing Heike to overpower corruption. So we have to find the potion before Nate even has the chance to give a meal it. We're against the clock. We have to hurry before that contract is formed. And about his sentence? That is not important. Right now we have to make sure that corruption is kept away from Nate.